Hi everyone, Ash is here and in this little video we're going to be unboxing Tomb Raider, the Dark Angel Symphony music album. Now this bundle actually comes with four CDs inside. This includes remastered soundtracks from Tomb Raider The Last Relation, Chronicles, The Angel of Darkness and of course the Dark Angel Symphony itself. So without further ado, let's have a look. So the first thing you notice, this is clamshell CD bundle. Uh, it is not jewel case. We decided not to go with jewel case because they always, they look cheap and they break it quite easily really. So we went with the clamshell material. As you can see, it's not that completely flat. You see it plays in the light a little bit. There is a pattern on it. So it just looks really, really nice and, and sounds amazing. So it has this nice finish and feel to it. And it just feels posh and expensive rather. Um, as one of the guys on Twitter, Raiden, who is a cosplayer who cosplayed one Croy in our orchestra recording said it actually looks in line with our vinyl. So they look like mini vinyl, if you will, which is kind of true because, you know, we are very strong in our brand, which was created by Ina Vujarina, the artwork, and our graphic designer, Lara Tito, but I'll tell you about them in a minute. So yeah, one thing to tell is that the album actually comes shrink wrapped in this plasticky thingy. Um, so this is just something to consider. I already unpacked it just for the sake of this video, but when they will arrive to you, this is how they will look. They will look shrink wrapped, so you'll need to remove that. But just something to consider anyway. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. So here we have the inside of the clamshell CD. There is a booklet. There is Angel of Darkness, Chronicles, The Last Relation, and The Dark Angel Symphony. Now, first thing we're gonna look is on the back of the CDs. As you can see, there's track listing going on. And continuous kind of theme among all the CDs. As you can see, there's nice kind of light going on with just different coloring. Um, as I mentioned before, the branding was quite strong with this one uh, for us because we, we were very big on symbolism, uh, iconography and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so anyone here, anyone watching who studied semiotics or media theory will know what the hell I'm talking about. But throughout the iconography of the album, you see the death and rebirth of Lara and it, it's just quite obvious really. But yeah, we there's quite lots of symbolism going on with Chronicles, the last relation kind of where she's going into unknown, um, dies and then is reborn effectively. So that was quite um, interesting thing that our designer Stuart did, which is amazing. Um, and with the Dark Angel Symphony CD, there is two Laras presented, drawing by Ina, with the track listing on the back. Now, one thing to note is that all our CDs, when you open them up like that, um, and you look at the back, you see that these are actually platinum white, which, just said, which basically means that these are not cheaply cloned CDs. As you can see, they're white, platinum white, and there is actually a serial number here, tier does, CD001 uh, out of CD4. So these were properly done by a professional factory, you know, just so you know, no cheap shit. Um, and let's have a look what's in the booklet itself. So there is just general credits to um, our Kickstarter backers who co-funded this album actually. One third of the funds for this album came from the Kickstarter and pre-orders. Another two thirds came from Peter himself who um, <laughs> even sold his car and also from the from the team as well. We, we basically spend our entire life savings on this and there's no regrets really, no regrets, but it was a big, big ask and um, it was a big commitment this. Um, but we're happy how it turned out. And um, yeah, but without that one third of the funds for Kickstarter, this would never happen. So thank you guys on behalf of Peter, who I know will be watching this. He is sick with pneumonia, so this is why it's me today. And he actually hates doing videos as well. But just, anyway, you see his mug shot here, or just the mug as you want, whatever you want, with the signature and his mini statement about the album. 
Then we have track listing again from the Dark and Symphony, The Last Revelation, Chronicles, The Angel of Darkness, and then it goes into small kind of essay style statements from our top backer Alex, who is so she's just absolutely amazing. You just have no idea how great this person is. She's even so modest that she didn't even send us the photo of herself, instead it's a picture of her website with some CDs from Tomb Raider, of Tomb Raider games, and on the picture it's us rather than herself. Just, just incredible person, seriously. She spent the most of money and it's, I just, words, words lose me when I try to describe her. I know she'll be watching and it's just, it's incredible. The amount of money she spent on this is, wow just wow seriously if there is a thing as a super fan or Lara's biggest fan is definitely her it's just I can't I can't I can't even tell how much support financial and otherwise she has given to this album um, then we have back on number two Anna Maria with whom we are wearing actual matching tops uh, so Anna Maria been to our orchestra recordings as well she also spent shitloads of money on this album and she's amazing fanfic writer, so go have a look at her amazing um, fanfics. So there, Sana Maria, a small statement from her as well. Then it goes into the group photo of some of our team members. Majority of us are here. We're all looking like we're gonna go on a murder murdering spree, which is quite normal for us to be honest, but oh well. Um, then it goes into a statement a mini essay from Dean Copri, or as I call him, Dean Dean. His name is actually Dean, just so you know, it's Croatian, but we call him Dean Dean. Uh, and he looks like a beautiful gothic Disney princess on this one. Um, he actually co-composed Beyond the Darkness, which is one of the tracks on this album. Then it goes into interview Janina, our beautiful artwork artist, uh, the creator of our beautiful artwork, you know, all these things um, that's by Ina. I, I don't even know what to say because most of you will probably know who Ina is and she's very talented. She's from Ukraine, she draws amazing artworks and we were absolutely humbled and happy to have her on board with this and I'm glad that she did not ignore my email when I sent it to her a few years ago saying hey wanna get involved? Uh, so yeah and then it goes into a similar style with Lara Titova who is our lead graphic designer. So all the graphic art you see on our Twitter, social media is by her. So she manipulates all that in Illustrator and Photoshop to make it all presentable for you guys. So this is Lara So She did our logo, you know, this it's on her. So blame her, not us. <laughs> she's from Russia. She's a good friend of mine and she's a huge Angel of Darkness fan. She's not, she has, she calls herself, she's not a Tomb Raider fan. She's the Angel of Darkness fan. and. She was also at the orchestra recording and she was very happy about it, I hope. So I'll meet her again on my birthday in a couple of months. Um, then it goes into Jennifer Milward's essay. Jennifer is our proofreader, copywriter, and basically all the text, which is insane amount of work, was produced by Jennifer. She also did our beautiful pendants that some of you actually pledged for or bought in our shop. So it's all Jennifer. You see she's wearing one of them the picture and then it goes into Tina Lubyanka for us we call her Terenate it's a long story why we call her that I'm not gonna go into the it's in this video but yeah she's our videographer she's producing documentary about this whole project uh, now I want to stress one more time that this documentary is gonna be free on YouTube but our backers and those who pre-ordered will be able to see it first when we will live stream it on our Facebook group so if you have pre-ordered the album or bought the album now in our shop make sure to enter our Facebook group if you go into our Facebook page you can see the group there enter it enter your email address and we will accept you inside into the group um, accept you inside that's not English. So yeah, and she will produce a documentary. She does an incredible amount of work for this one and with absolutely no funds. And <laughs> it's just great what she's doing with it. And she does lots of photos as well. So yeah, this is our lead documentary person, filmmaker. So yeah, so you will see the documentary for free on YouTube and she's the one making it and it looks great what she's doing so far. Then it goes on to me, yada yada, and we have some little birdies bit here. So basically these are 
some of the sites that promoted us quite a bit actually we asked all of people who wrote an article to send us the article and how they want to be credited so these guys answered our call unfortunately not everyone sent us the article so we didn't include everyone in here because we know some people just don't want to be credited so um but yeah there's that's why we kind of left one page empty just for those who actually promoted us you know we remember about you you are here <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's it's a symbolic gesture on our side, but just you know Just thank you seriously everyone who even retweeted or tweeted about us or liked something that we posted We really really appreciate it. Even if you didn't buy anything just that tweet would probably make a big difference So thank you all so much Obviously, thank you hugely to anyone who wrote an article about us as well you know, but even a small tweet would help us a lot. So thank you all once again on behalf of the entire team and me as the guy who actually does all the communications for this album. Thank you hugely. Um, and it goes into special thanks bit here, which is quite a lot of our Kickstarter backers are in here. Uh, so we credited them. I think it's everyone who spent more than 60 pounds is credited here. Uh, so quite a lot of people actually. Um, some of you guys did not uh, fill in the name, so those of some of them are, are blanked out, but um, those who have been, they are here. There was one of them who actually wrote, um, no need to thank me, I actually did not do anything, anything, let me find that one actually. Oh, it was really funny, I need to find that. Um... Oh, there we go. Uh, in the field with special thanks, we asked people to how do they want to be credited and this guy just wrote No need, I didn't do anything deserving of credit So we just wrote thanks Vincent. Uh, it was just so so odd to see that I mean, it's clearly the person is really humble and it's it just it's just really nice. It really made our day uh, So thank you. Thank you everyone on in this list or basically anyone who bought the album so far or even listened to it on Spotify, thank you. And here we go into fun art section, the art by Adaika and Psychedelic Saber, who created a lot of uh, pretty artworks, but we include some of them in here. Just as a, our way of saying thanks. Uh, and then it goes into general credits, who made the album possible, the studios, and the orchestra and it ends with a group photo of all of us with martin being on the binding bit of the booklet so his face is kind of in between pages over there but we have janice here curtis here the voice of curtis eric loren here our uh, resident disney princess dean copry von croy myself peter murty scofield the writer of the angel of darkness and richard niles who arranged this album and we are actually at the Angel Studios, as you can see. We are, we are actually, unfortunately, this is one of the last albums ever recorded at the Angel Studios because they are, they are being shut, which is very big shame. And But we're glad we, we were one of the last ones, at least, um, because just because it would be a shame not to be there. It, it's a very nice studio. And those of you who have been there, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's a spectacular building. It looks like an old church or something. It just looked amazing and it was very, really sad to see it go. But yeah, we're at Angel Studio just after the recording session. Peter looks surprised like a meerkat there. <laughs> um, it, was, it was a very odd day, to be honest. I can't remember much of it. It, it was such an odd day because it just, is it actually happening? You know, that kind of feel. We were all sick because this guy here gave us cold, Richard. So that's the booklet and that's the album. So there you go. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go and buy this album if you haven't already, simply because the stock is very limited. So once a quantity so this album are sold, we're not reprinting them like this. We're going to reprint them actually in jewel case just to save some money. Uh, or if we might not even reprint them at all. We don't know. We haven't thought about that just yet. But once this sold, sells out, it, even if it is reprinted, it will not be exactly like this. So you might want to get that batch whilst you still can. Um, yeah, we also have um, the 
Angel of Darkness DVD here as well, which is a surround sound, which you can also buy in our shop. This basically means you can hear the original Angel of Darkness music in 5.1 surround sound. So if you have 5.1 system, which basically means you have five speakers and one subwoofer, you can use this DVD to play it on that system. It sounds incredible. You, I can't tell you how it sounds like because you will never, you, you need to experience it because you get to be in, in, in kind of enrolled in this nice, kind of feel wa wave of music coming from all over directions and you can like kind of feel like you're being stand in the middle where the orchestra being recorded so that's how it actually was recorded it was recorded in 5.1 so here you can actually experience it in 5.1 if you want to so go and get that cd it's all of them are actually signed by murty scofield the writer for the angel of darkness so if you want to get it get it in our shop as soon as you can because again limited quantities we did not print much of that of these so go and grab one tiger yeah so once again thank you all for your support and yeah